Hi there everyone, it's Gloria Kremer from Oakville, Canada, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I wanted to show you this cute little fun fold card that I made. So, I started off with this one. This was sort of my prototype. My girlfriend loves gnomes. So I got this uh, DSP. I think it's called Storybook Gnomes from the new mini catalog. And I made this cute little card and it stands up. I don't know if you can tell that it stands up, but you can stand it up and it folds flat, fits into a regular size envelope. And it's just so cute. So this was my first one. It's a little over the top. Um, and I got such a great response when I posted this card that I decided to make a step down version and it's not even that step down but it's it's a little um less uh what do you call it it, it there's not as many pieces well i guess there's actually just as many but anyways we use the um the storybook gnomes dsp and then we use the uh kindest gnomes uh dies to die cut the gnomes right out of the DSP. And I'll show you this DSP right here. So this DSP has, let me see if we can get some more light in here. I don't know if this makes it easier, or if this is better or worse. Let's try putting it, I'm gonna put my ring light right above. Now it's going to be nice and bright. Okay, so you get this DSP and there's these dies that fit these gnomes. So you can die cut these and it makes your job so much easier. And then there's another sheet of DSP that has these little mushroom houses and it cuts it out completely perfectly. So the only thing you really have to fussy cut if you decide to put the animals is the little little critters here for this card. Now I will show you how I I'm not going to make the entire card, but I'm I'm going to show you how to make the card base for this card. And it's actually really really simple. So you're going to take your Stampin' Up! trimmer. Sorry, I have everything everywhere here. And I'm going to... So one sheet of cardstock is enough to make the base for this card. So we're just going to take this and we're going to cut it in half. So at five and a half here. So we're going to put one half aside and then we're going to take this sheet here and we're going to do some scoring. So let me make sure you can sort of see. So we're going to do the first score at two and one eighth. Then we're going to slide it over to four and a quarter. And if you wanted to keep your arm out, you the next score would be at six and three eighths. But what I do is I just sort of turn this around and bring it to the two and one eighth again. So in the next part now is we're going to take this and we're going to bring it up to the one and one eighth mark so you can see right there hopefully you can see right there uh one and one eighth and we're gonna hold that down we're gonna slide our cutting blade to where this score line is and we're gonna bring this cutting blade all the way down to this score line And the Stampin' Up! trimmer is great because you can see through, through this clear ruler here. 
and then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna bring it to the one and one eighth. And again, we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna slide it from this score line to this score line. And this is pretty much your base for the card. So the next step is we're gonna fold this into mountain fold. This piece goes into valley fold. And then these ones also go into valley fold. Just like that. So you want to take your bone folder. I don't have my bone folders here. But your finished piece should look like this. Now, with your other piece here, what you're going to do is you're going to put this in, bring it to the four and three quarters, slide that in, slide that off, then bring it over to four and a quarter, and you're going to score it. Now you're going to take this and you're going to trim it down to five. So these, so with one sheet of cardstock, we have everything we need. So what we're going to do here is fold this piece. I like to use the, um, the tear tape we're going to put the tear tape along here and you're going to stick that down now for the uh, piece that goes where you're going to mount the white piece this piece is uh, four by five and oh five and a quarter so this balmy blue that I used here is four by five and a quarter. And then this piece goes right on top. So then you have your whole base of the card. Next you need to do is cut out um, your DSP. And I will show you, you don't need to, to see how to cut pieces, but I will show you. I, these are kits that I made for my online class and for my in-person class. So for the online classes, um, the gnomes and the trees are all cut, are cut out for you. Um, DSP is cut as well. Pretty much everything is included except uh, stamped images. So for my online uh So, you would have your base there. You would put that on and then you would glue that together. And then next part is you would need two pieces um, of DSP that go on the side. And these would be five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. So you need two of those. Then you need two pieces that are three by one and seven eighths. And then you would need four for these little pieces. And these measure seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So that's pretty simple. And then you would like just, you would glue these all down. So you would glue all these pieces down. And then once you're done, that's when you go and start, start the fun part of uh, sticking your little characters on. Now the sentiments that I used for this card came from one of my favorite sets for this season, Brightest Glow. 
and I used uh, the black for the sentiment. My ribbon is from the Real Red and the Garden Green uh, combo pack that's in the Christmas catalog. And right now the gnome, uh, the Kindest Gnome stamp set is on back order. So it's not orderable, but if you get the DSP and the dies, you can make this card. You don't even need the stamp set. I mean, it'd be nice. I'm going to, I'll be ordering the stamp set once it becomes available again. But in the meantime, I'm just having so much fun just using up the DSP and, um, in the dies so this is um this is also from i guess the brightest glow uh dies that uh come with this bundle and then the tree is from christmas lights um bundle so there you go if you have any uh questions you can leave a comment um hope you had fun and uh yeah thanks for joining me have an awesome day